On November 10, 19, or 1775, the Corps of Marines was created by a resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that date, many thousand men have borne the, the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we who are Marines should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of its long and illustrious history. The record of our Corps is one which will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organizations in the world's history. During 90 of the 167 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, the Marines have won the foremost honors in war, and in the long eras of tranquility at home, generation after generation of Marines have grown gray in war in both hemispheres and in every corner of the seven seas that our country and its citizens, so that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our Corps, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors, and on each occasion until the term Marines has come to signify all that is highest in military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who have preceded us in the Corps. With it, we also receive from them the eternal spirit that has animated our Corps generation to generation, and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as this spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every mercy in the future as they have been in the past. And the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since the founding of our Corps. Lieutenant General John Lejeune, United States Marine Corps.